She didn't have a second thought about it. In fact, she got a kick out of flaunting it. Sharon, get out of my chair. I want to know everything. I missed her. Oh, my good God. Just like that? Hi. Good to see you. And then, wham, you plant one on her? Shit, you've got balls, girl. It wasn't just hello and wham. I took her to drinks, a jazz club. And wham, I planted one on her. What did she do? She took it like a man. Get up out of my chair. Not funny. Now, come on. I'm your best friend. I want you to tell me seriously what happened. Why? So you can live vicariously through me? Yeah. You have a problem with that? Casey, come on. Talk to me. Well, when I'm with her, I'm really comfortable, and she amuses me. And when I talk, she listens. That's because she's a woman. It's like talking to yourself, kissing yourself. We know what we like. They say that sex between women is great, too, because it's thoughtful and it takes into account the other person's feelings. I think you've been watching too much Oprah. Oh, fuck you. Okay, honestly, is this good? It's bullshit. And I'm serious. I mean, I was trying to be supportive, trying to speak the speak and be simpatical with you and your new adventure, asshole. I'm sorry. I know you're my friend. You're just trying to be supportive, and I love you for that. Just don't be kissing me. Move. 